Okay, we get a few questions about what is included in the total package. And so what I want to do right now is spend a few minutes addressing that question. And on the website, of course, you can, uh, here's the page here, you can see that there's a list here of the things that are included, uh, but most people, uh, several people want to see exactly what does that look like. So I'm going to take a few minutes here and give you a snapshot or a quick preview of what is included in the total package. So let's start out with the biggest item, which is the contractor forms and contracts. Okay, uh, Inside that folder, you're going to find multiple folders, bonds, liens, notices, contracts, estimating, field superintendent or field and superintendent forms, human resource documents, and then uh, standard project documentation, and then uh, documents specific to subcontractors, vendors, and suppliers. And of course, each one is going to be an Excel, and you can fully edit these uh, documents specific to your company. So obviously, you're not going to have sample on your document. You'll change that and put your own company name. Uh, and most of our templates are set up that way. You've got a spot for logos. Uh, you can customize the text that's inside the document itself. Um, manipulate the formatting if you'd like as well. So uh, that's the bonds and contracts, uh, bonds, liens, and notices here. We've got quite a few documents here. And then inside the contracts, same thing, okay? Uh, quite a few of them. Uh, these are kind of a print screen view, but you can see over here that this is actually an Excel file, okay? And uh, again, free to manipulate however you'd like, okay? Uh, same thing with estimating. Not quite as many forms, but uh, these are just some basic forms. Of course, you can build in formulas as you want uh, to automatically calculate, say, for example, your totals here. Okay. Field and superintendent forms. And these are all listed on the website as well. So um, if you want to search for these specific documents, you can. Uh, again, fully customizable, fully editable. Uh, you're getting templates and files, not uh, not a one-time use form, uh, not something you've got to go and photocopy. Of course, you can print them and then photocopy them if you want, but we like to edit them in place, save it to the job file uh, for future reference. Okay, uh, standard project documentation. You know, everybody's seen transmittals and submittals, uh, meeting minutes, uh, fax cover sheet. A lot of great forms for a company who's just starting up. I mean, this is a really affordable way to do that. You're going to get hundreds of documents to get you going. Uh, for those of you who maybe are dabbling in a new area, uh, picking up some commercial work where you're going to use transmittals quite often and you've got to have submittals and a submittal log, um, great start again. Uh, subcontractors and vendors, and just a few forms here for you. Get you started. License verification for your subs, uh, back charge notifications and logs, uh, back charge, um, all different types of forms that are going to help you really uh, keep track of your communication. Okay, so now um, we get into the smaller files. Of course, there's quite a few uh, files in here. Here's a, a concrete estimate. Uh, concrete uh, workbook, extremely detailed. I mean, we're talking. Uh, this is, this is um, for those who are going to be doing some finite takeoffs. And there's so many more sheets, uh, tabs in this workbook. It's a humongous workbook. Okay, uh, we've got the business planning checklist. Uh, it's it's pretty helpful uh, for you to focus on uh, strengths and weaknesses of your business. Uh, here's a business budget again for startups if you're wanting to start up uh, maybe a new division or a brand new company it's something to get you started contractor warranty it prints up a nice certificate for the uh, the owner conversation confirmation that's nice to be able to keep track of uh, your conversations and then put it into the the project binder or folders uh, this is something that you met somebody on the job site, you were talking to them about something, this is a way for you to um, annotate or um, document your dialogue with them. Perhaps you had a phone conversation with them. Timesheets, of course, we all know what those are. Uh, expense estimates, uh, electrical bids, um, floor covering template, uh, leads tracking, great way to keep track of your leads. 
uh, phone calls that are coming in. Here's just a, a basic material takeoff sheet that's great for the site, for your foreman or your superintendents who are on site to uh, walk out on the job and, and do some uh, takeoffs. Some more meeting minutes, uh, monthly budgets. This is uh, very helpful. This is actually a, a basic version of our um, construction schedule. It's great for RFPs. Uh, basic schedule for the job. What we like to do is have our foreman on the site use those to uh, do two-week look-aheads. Quality control, subcontract qualification form. That's what we send out to our um, contractors. A T&M sheet. Uh, all kinds of forms in here for you and uh, another basic transmittal a weekly schedule here and then uh, we've got uh, an accounts uh, payable aging um, worksheet for you kind of keep track of where you are with your cash flow uh, auto expense report a bill of laden uh, c2 reprographics order form which is actually um, a reprographics company we built our own form just so we could whip these out rather quickly but you could use this for your own reprographics company just manipulate the form as you need Concrete calculator estimator, uh, another version of that um, detailed worksheet that we saw earlier. Uh, we saw the contract forms and contracts. A cost to complete schedule, there is a video for that one. You can check that one out. It's very similar to um, what's well, used for trying to figure out where you're at with your project costs and your cost to complete the project. Detailed expense estimate again. Uh, easy bid estimating, uh, it's an itemized worksheet uh, for quick bidding. Uh, expense budgets uh, G702 and G703 these are extremely valuable on um, commercial projects where we've got to uh, report uh, submit an application for payment um, based on the conditions of the job uh, so we would list the uh, schedule of values here and then where we're at with the job and, and submit this on a monthly basis very handy to use. Um, we used paper copies for a long time and decided uh, let's do this digitally and uh, now we just keep a copy for every month of billing on the job. It's especially helpful on larger projects. Invoices, uh, pretty standard stuff there and then uh, our most popular construction schedules where uh, you can develop your project schedules using an Excel file and um, have a Gantt chart on the right hand side here which will help you uh, keep track of your progress on the jobs. This is a great representation to the clients and uh, of course a lot less expensive than Microsoft Project or Primavera or any other um, solution out there for scheduling your jobs and it's pretty easy for for the uh, the team to use, to manipulate, to um, edit and uh, keep track of, of the job at a fraction of the cost of the professional grade um, software that's out there. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, I know it was quick, uh, but it is basically uh, everything on the website that we have. Uh, this is a steal of a deal, and uh, I don't say that lightly because <laughs> it really is. You get everything on the website all in one, uh, one package uh, for a great price. All right. If you have any questions, uh, keep in mind that you can use our forum area or submit your questions to support at Construction Office Online.